I think the biggest story heading into the season when it comes to Denver is, of course, the quarterback situation where you have Drew Locke, the returner, Teddy Bridgewater enters the mix. Aaron Rodgers, still a question mark. We don't know if that could come into play late here. What do you make of the quarterback situation entering the 2021 season? Well, first and foremost, everyone is uh, definitely excited about the Aaron Rodgers talk. Whether it would come to fruition or not, we, we don't really know. Right. So we only have to deal with the quarterbacks that we have in Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. So there's this idea that there's going to be this quarterback competition, somewhat of 50-50 reps. But I know this as a player and as a coach in the NFL, nothing is ever 50-50. There's always one guy that seems to have somewhat of a head start over the other guy. And, and looking at Drew Locke, who, you know, he's a Kansas City, you know, guy, went to Missouri. You know, he hasn't really played that well. Now, playing against the Chiefs, I think it was last year in yeah. uh, Arrowhead gave the fans somewhat of an idea like, hey, maybe Drew Locke might be the guy because the score wasn't, you know, one of those large lopsided, you know, uh, losses for the Broncos. The game was somewhat close. And for me, I try to tell our fans, hey, listen, I, I like what Drew Locke brings to the table as far as his arm. But there's a lot of things that he's still inconsistent about. And don't look at that Chiefs game and saying, okay, well, we, we are that much closer to the Chiefs with Drew Locke. Because what I saw was a lot of mistakes in that game by the Chiefs. There was one touchdown that Tariq Hill caught, but no one knew it was a touchdown. They didn't challenge it. It was unreal. I, I think we all go back to that moment and we're like, how can we as fans see this? But I think the problem in that situation was Tyree Kill didn't even realize he caught that football. No, he didn't because it just kind of fell off of A.J. Boyer's yeah. back. And he just thought, OK, well, maybe it was an incomplete pass. <laughs> maybe it touched the ground. But he didn't know until he looked up at the Jumbotron and realized that was an actual reception. But in that game, I just saw a lot of issues that the Kansas City Chiefs offense was having, but it wasn't like Drew Locke was that impressive to give me an idea that one, he should win the starting job or the Broncos are really close from that quarterback position if he's a starter. Now, Teddy Bridgewater, I go back last year, there was a game, I can't remember which week it was, I don't know if it was week four, week eight, but the Chiefs and the Carolina Panthers faced off and the Chiefs won that game maybe 32-30. And in that game, to me, it was a real close game and it just showed me the tangibles that Teddy Bridgewater brings to the table. And most people here, and I try to tell my other radio cohorts that, hey, listen, when we look at Teddy Bridgewater, most of you guys look at him and say, well, he just kind of a, a check down Charlie. But I say, well, I want a guy who's going to make quality decisions. When I look at the quarterback that you guys had a couple of years ago in Alex Smith, right. everyone said that he was a game manager. And at first, I, I, I used to not like that term game manager, but I love it now because what that tells me is that guy is going to do everything right. He's not going to try to play outside of himself. And this is where Drew Locke has an issue because when he faces off against a guy like Patrick Mahomes, he feels as though, hey, I'm a Kansas City guy, went to Missouri, so I have to showcase my arm. And what happens with not just Drew, but a quarterback I played with and Jay Cutler, that arm talent that everyone's talked about, it gets them in trouble because they try yeah. to force balls into tight situations. And I'm like, dude, you are not Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes has learned the art of improvisation. Right. You have yet to learn how to do that. So play within of yourself, and he still hasn't done that. But I like Teddy Bridgewater to win this quarterback position. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, because I think even in the games against the Chiefs, there have been these Drew Locke flashes, but Locke... Mm sometimes makes mistakes and and could cost the Broncos game where you don't really think that Bridgewater is going to necessarily lose you a game. So it'll be interesting to watch from afar how the Broncos go when it comes to that decision. 